Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to install the uh, Honeycomb software for Xplane 11, so the configuration tool and the plugin. And yes, so let's get started. Um, to do so, we need to download the latest version. Uh, to get these files, you can uh, visit the Honeycomb. Uh, page you can visit our forum or you can go to the uh, product page in the Airsoft web shop. So um, yeah let's go to the Airsoft web shop for now. Um, type in in the search box um, honeycomb. Select the throttle or the joke. Um, scroll down a bit. Then you will find the files for Xplain 11 Mac and Xplain 11 Windows. So the Windows file contains an installation. Um, the installation will install everything for you in the uh, Xplain 11 uh, path. The Mac uh, contains contains all, only the files, not an installation, uh, but it also contains the Windows files. So if you have problems with the installation, you also could take under Windows the Mac version because it already includes the uh, Windows files. For now, um, yes, we will download both. So save and save this. So it will download. Done. Then head over to your um, download folders folder where you save uh, the files so, uh, and then you have the Mac version and the Windows version on your um, hard drive. So now we will uh, start with the Windows version. So we will go here and say open there's a short readme file if you have problems uh, etc. Please read this first. Uh, we will take the setup for now. So we will um, unzip this, this yeah, let's say to the desktop, set, open that, click on the setup.exe. Yeah, we'll come up with a short message under Windows. That's normal, it's typically on it. There we go. And this will guide you through the installation process. Click accept. Next, uh, now here the insta uh, installation is trying to find your um, path to the, the Xplain 11 folder. So um, in my case, it's uh, D programs Xplain 11. Um, if the installation can't find it, you can browse it manually. Click next. Uh, just a short summary of what the installation is doing, click next and he will um, the installation will install everything for you. For now we'll click on cancel here because I also want to show you the Mac version. Back to the downloads folder. Here we go. Here we have the Mac version here. So we will also open that. And yes, we'll just make a unzip that to our desktop too. There we go. Click on it. And we now see also the short readme file, but we see the folder resources. And then joysticks, joystick configs, plugins. So when we open up our explain directory, as you maybe saw earlier, in my case, it's the programs explain 11. So when we open that, we see that uh, you also have a resources folder here. And we click on when you click on it, you also have a plugins folder here and a joystick configs folder. So what we just need to do is go to the Xlane 11 folder, go to the main folder from the zip file, so the resources folder here. Just drag it over. And now he's installing it to our directory. In my case, I had it already installed, so he's asking me to overwrite the files. Yes, in my case. 
done. Now I have everything installed. Uh, if you have problems, for example, under the latest Mac version, so under Big Sure, um, I saw some strange behaviors um, in the past, um, then please just um, copy these um, uh, folders manually. So copy that into the explain resources plugins folder, then go back to the joystick configs, copy all this into the explain resources joystick configs folder. Uh, just to be sure that you don't ha overwrite everything in the plugins or in the uh, resources folder. So now when we click on plugin, we have the AOC plugin here. We have a small documentation and uh, as this, you can see, you now have the Mac folder here and the Win Windows folder here. This con these folders contains the actual plugin that runs under um, uh, inside Xplain. And you also have the configuration tool here. This is the Windows version and you also have the Honeycomb configurator.app folder. This is the Mac applica application. So when you start it, you can see yeah, it comes up with a message again because we downloaded it from the internet. So you have it installed. You already have a template installed. Perfect. So um, in Explain, you just need these configuration tool to uh, for the LEDs here for the lights and for the FCU selector uh, on the upper side here. So you don't need to uh, configure all these. Uh, buttons here. So the, for example, the gear handle, the autopilot buttons, you can do that inside Xplain. So when you start up Xplain, go to the settings and you can do everything there. You only need this tool to get these LEDs working correctly and the FCU selector so that you, let me zoom in a bit, so that you can select um, a value here. So let's say the, the altitude value and with, with this knob here, you can decrease or increase the selected value from here. But when you, uh, install, uh, when you installed everything, you already have a default throttle template. So this, the LEDs and the FCU selector already should work. So that's it for this short video today. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, stay safe in these crazy times right now. And yes, see you soon.